In this video, we are going to be taking a look at my most favorite gold glitches in build a boat for treasure and each of these glitches still work and you're able to get thousands upon thousands of gold by using them. This is a compilation of my most favorite glitches ever. Be sure to stay tuned, like the video and subscribe. We're not going to waste any more time. Let's hop straight into the video. So for this first one, it still works, but there has been an update on one of the items, but I'm going to show you exactly how to make it and it is actually very, very beneficial and you can definitely make thousands from it. Let's hop straight into the tutorial for that. So you guys can see right here, what I have is just a wood block and you're probably wondering, Fusion, how in the world is that gonna make you gold? Well, you guys can see, every time I stand on it and reset just like this, it actually is gonna teleport me inside of the stage and I'm also going to get uh, 36 gold every single time. And all I have to do is just simply walk on it and touch it just like this. And you can also make the platform as big as the spawn points. So every time you spawn in, all you have to do is reset your character and you get gold over and over and over again it is by far the best one of the best gold grinders inside of the game in my opinion especially if you can get this block to cover all the spawn points and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it in this video so make sure you guys stay tuned and also be sure to like the video and subscribe but uh yeah it still works to this day it's a little bit more different and a little bit tiny bit more difficult because of the new update on the springs but i made it work and it is good to go so we're gonna hop straight into the tutorial all right so first things first what you actually want to do i'm gonna first make sure everything is cleared so that way i don't uh build over anything so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to place a block right here just like this and then another block and then what i'm gonna do for this block is i'm simply just going to scale also wait i've got to make one thing clear make sure everything is anchored okay so i'm gonna do this again make sure everything is anchored now you can make your platform as big as you want or as small as you want i'm gonna make it literally this long okay i'm gonna try to cover all the spawn points you don't have to make it this long it can literally be like the size of one block i believe so this should be fine right here um i, I think that's as big as i'm gonna make it right there and and then we're gonna place ourselves a seat right here okay or actually we're gonna place it right about there so we're gonna place a seat right here just like that and then make sure that it is also anchored on the ground well the second thing that we're gonna do is we're going to build ourselves another second wall here so this wall um we used to be able to place the springs a lot easier but now i mean in this case the spring is a little bit more difficult to use so what we're actually trying to do here is we're trying to line this up a little bit like that um but i need to grab myself a plastic block in this plastic block i'm just going to line up right here and by the way once you build this once you don't ever have to do it again because you can just say so that looks like it's in line with how it is below so nice now what we're gonna do is place that there we're trying to make it so it's on like the same level as this side all right so now that we have this we're going to grab our spring block if i could ever find it we're gonna make sure that it is pretty much even with it we're gonna place one side right there and one side just like that so now you should have this we can now delete this wall essentially what that wall was there uh, for is to hold this block in place and now we're simply just going to save or you could not save whatever you want to do but i'm I'm going to save it just that way i have it ready to go all right now next thing we're going to do is we're going to sit inside of here we're going to place the cake and make sure that it actually connects uh, to this and then i'm also going to grab the hinge block you can also use the glue block to do this whatever you want to do to actually move this platform it really doesn't matter uh just make sure it's a fly glitch of some sort and now we're just going to delete everything and now we're good to go all right so now we have this also you are going to need the scale tool and the property tool to do this we're essentially just going to fly this all the way over to the middle of the stages now you can also speed up this process by eating a pink candy um and you want to make your way inside of not the first stage but the second stage so you're gonna make your way right over here we're gonna go past this one and then one more and the reason why we're doing that is because we want to get as much gold as possible but at the same time um we don't want to go too far in all right so here we go now we're about right here so this is the clock tower stage i'm just gonna try to get a little bit even with the uh, stage here also what i'm gonna do is delete my previous old block that i had there you won't have that issue so don't worry about that so now we're gonna stand right about here now what we're gonna do is go just a little bit closer down to the water now now we're going to simply um anchor only the purple block here so only click the purple block we're going to anchor it and then we're going to grab our scale tool and scale it up now when we do that it should detach from the spring now all we have to do is just flip ourselves back around and we're just going to take this giant platform back over to the spawn and this is literally all you have to do to set up the glitch guys i mean it's literally this easy so we're going to fly this over like so all the way back over to our spawn point now this is where using a little bit smaller of a build is going to be a little bit easier because trying to navigate this giant platform through the trees of your spawn point can be a little bit frustrating and difficult sometimes so we're gonna take our giant platform here and we're just going to go right over this flag post and we're going to go down now most likely here we're not gonna be able to go down all the way just because the tree is gonna be in the way so i think what i'm gonna do i, I don't know if this is gonna actually affect it or not but i'm gonna turn collision off just for now and then we should um come down here just a little bit now i could have made this platform a little bit bigger that way i covered all the spawn points i just want to get all the way down to the ground if i can 
again. Try this one more time. Oh gosh. Oh no, I just twisted. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to anchor it. We're going to turn collision back on. Simply going to delete all of this. All right, just like that. Delete that, delete that. And now I'm gonna make sure everything is uh, unanchored, just like that. So it's covering majority of the spawn points. Now, if we actually stand on this and reset, if it worked, it should teleport you inside of the stage right here. So let's go ahead and try it uh, one more time without going through the stages. Let's see if it works. Wait, hold on. Wait, what is going on with my game right now? Wait, what in the world is happening? Bro, what? Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what did I do? Wait, what? Wait, I don't even know what just happened. I really have no idea. Anyway, I think we just glitched out the game. We're going to reset our character by standing on there just like that. Perfect. Now we should respawn back in like normal. Okay, that one was normal. I don't really know what the other ones were doing. And just like that. You can literally just press escape, press R, and then enter. Literally, it's just three buttons on your keyboard to get 36 gold, just like that. Well, bam. Now, that was just one of my favorites, but now I want to show you more easier and less complex gold grinders, even though that one wasn't that complex or complicated. These ones are just my go-to that I use every single time, and I either, either need to fly around the map or I need to just make some quick gold, and that is the one, the only hinge grinder. So, this can be used with the cake. It can be used with the glue block or even firework i'm just going to be using the cake for this example here because this is just like the most basic go-to gold grinder in build a bunch of treasure so we place a hinge right there we place ourselves a pink candy and we delete the chair and boom just like this and look at my animation on my avatar right now bro what the heck okay but we just hold space bar here and we just go through the stages and this is going to give you the maximum amount of gold every single time you go through the stages so it's super super reliable anytime i want to go to the end and try to claim a gold block all i have to do is use this gold grinder here and it, it'll work every single time but you guys can also see right here that my stages are just all reloading because i got kicked from the server because of my internet so um, i'm not going to get any gold from this but this is definitely one of my always go-to's there's also another very, very easy go-to gold grinder, and that is this. So we're going to place ourselves a wood rod down just like this, and then we're going to grab ourselves a gold block. We're going to go one, two, three, and then four, five, just like that. And then we're going to grab ourselves a hinge. We're going to stand up here. We're going to place the hinge right there in the middle, and then we're going to top it off with the glue block. We're going to stand right here. We're going to delete the wood right there, and now all we have to do is just press spacebar and go through the stages that's literally all we have to do this one's also super consistent and easy and also it's easy on mobile as well For those of you mobile players out there this is a very very good glitch that you guys could use that'll give you a lot of gold super quick and easy definitely one of my more, most favorite gold grinders on the list but if there's actually one gold glitch that i absolutely love the best that i really always go to it is this one right here okay this one i just have like the best control over it and i can get to the end literally every single time and that is this so we're gonna place a cake just like this actually two cakes then we're gonna grab ourselves a boxing glove i know it's super super random but for some reason i mean this gold grinder here just does me wonders then all i have to do is just hold space bar just like this and s and just like this we're off we're good wait wait i think i did this wrong hold on i placed the boxing glove too high all right so now i placed the boxing glove just a little bit lower on my avatar here and now i just gotta build up some momentum and just go through the stages now this is literally all i have to do and look at my avatar animation i'm just rolling through the stages here and this is literally so easy i mean look at this guys we're just we're just strolling through here right now about to claim the maximum amount of gold that we can all right let's keep going this should give us i'm assuming this got to give us 200 gold for sure i mean look at this we are just perfectly going through here right now dodging all the obstacles you guys can see this gold grinder right here is just so good we're gonna go to the end here the control on this is also amazing all right let's see how much gold we get i did go through pretty quick but i think we went through at just the right time that i think we still might get the maximum amount of gold all right so here we go let's see here and we got one gold block just like that all right that's the moment of truth guys what are we gonna get and we got 237 that's maximum right now that was actually really really good but those are pretty much my go-to go gold grinders i mean i don't really use afk grinders at all although afk grinders are really really good i just don't use them personally i kind of just use more like manual gold grinders inside of the game but let me know down below your guys' most favorite gold glitches in build a boat for treasure be sure to drop a big thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all inside the next one peace out and goodbye